A public memorial honoring Mike Illich has been busy all day at Comerica Park as well wishers pay their respects to a true Detroit icon. Steve Garajola is there tonight and Steve more proof of what Mr. I meant to this town. All right, Jason, that's the truth. Uh, we're really in a transition period right now. This afternoon, very busy. A lot of office buildings around Comerica Park. A lot of people came over this afternoon. I suspect this evening when folks get home from work, many will decide they want to come down to Comerica Park. When you saw the variety of people who were this afternoon, you really got a clear picture of just how many lives Mike Illich touched. Some of these visitors knew Mike Illich, or had at least met him, but most did not. Still, they wanted to come here today to share a memory, a moment, an inspiration because of his part in their life. Holden Farrow is a student at Wayne State's Mike Illich School of Business. He's not only done so much for the business school, but for this entire city as well. And I just really appreciate what, what he's done. Ellen Yergolite works for the Tigers now. Her working life began in a Little Caesars pizza shop. Little Caesars was one of my favorite jobs, and it's a great first job to have, and I feel like not a lot of people can say that. So it speaks volumes about the organization and, and the man who ran it. It's all because of him that I'm happy and successful and <laughs> love my job. Jake Walken was 16 when he got a job making Pizza Pizza. Um, I was young. It was just a very part-time job for me. No big deal, a little cash in the pocket. Once I really understood how much effort and, and passion that Mr. I put into this, it inspired me. It was my flame, my inspiration, my motivation, my drive, my heart. It's what kept me going. Yes, he built an iconic pizza franchise, two world-class sports franchises, restaurants, theaters, a multi-billion dollar empire. But most of all, he touched lives and really made a difference. Boy, there's no doubt about that. So many warm, wonderful messages left already on the board, and I'm sure so many yet to come. Uh, of course, the public viewing is on Wednesday afternoon. That's across the street over at the Fox Theater, noon until 8 on Wednesday. This is a much different experience. This is really a chance for people to leave memories and messages. All of these messages will, of course, be shared eventually with the Illich family. Uh, Kimberly, Jason, back to you. Yeah, and a lot of room left on that board. Steve, any idea how long they're going to keep that open tonight? Well, yeah, I wondered about how late it was going to be. They brought in some uh, like stadium lights on each side and they tell me it's going to be 24 uh, seven. Anytime anybody wants to come down here, there will be security guards here on place to make sure everything stays as it is because it's a beautiful setup. But uh, anytime someone wants to come over between now and when the uh, the viewing is on Wednesday, I think you'll have that opportunity. I think fans would love that a really cool way to pay their respects. All right, Steve, thanks. A lot of people also go into our website, click on Detroit.com and reading all the posts there and on our Facebook page. So certainly uh, such an outpouring. Yeah, really, yeah. really is.